Question number 76 is from the magnetic property of matter and this is also one topic which is exclusively on JEE means which is not in JE advance and you will see at the end of the total discussion there are at least three to four questions from those topics which are specifically made for JEE means. So here perhaps JEE means wants to show is distinct DNA where there are four or five topics like in physics you talk of semiconductor, magnetism matter and principle of communication. These are the topics which are not there in JE advance, only in JE mains. And this time JE mains has ensured to drop questions or uh, not to drop in fact JE mains has ensured to give question in that sense I mean to say drop from those topic where the syllabi of JE main is only exclusively defined which are not there in JE advance. So you try to understand that point that will help you in order to strategize if you are preparing for JE mains. So this shows the hysteresis loop. The first one having a large hysteresis area, other one having a small one and we need to choose like if says that A is used for electromagnet, B is for electric generator that would be wrong because electromagnet are constantly magnetized and demagnetized during the process. So we require a less hysteresis loop area so that the loss would be lesser. So in that situation this would not be there. A for transformer again that would be wrong because transformer also has a constant magnetization demagnetization in because it works under AC. So even for transformer the hysteresis loop should have a smaller area. So right here Third option seems to be the best, the B which has a smaller hysteresis area and that is for electromagnets and transformer. So the co correct option is option number 3. So that was with question number 76, we will move to question number 77. Question number 77 is almost a very straightforward question and it has been set from linear expansion or you may call thermal expansion where it says a pendulum clock loses 12 seconds a day if temperature is 40 degrees centigrade. Now what happens if the temperature is higher than the specified value the length would increase if the length increases time period increases the clock gets slower and of course ultimately it loses time. So that means 40 degrees centigrade is above the specified limit and gains 4 seconds a day if the temperature is 20. We need to calculate the temperature at which it shows the correct time and the value of alpha which is the coefficient of linear expansion. So in this particular situation let us try to see time period of a simple pendulum is 2 pi root L by G delta T by T is half delta L by L and that is straightforward half alpha delta theta. This is the change in time period by original time period. The total time by the total time of operation. This is the loss or gain in time by total time in operation would also be exactly the same. That is a very simple fact. So I get here delta T is half alpha delta theta into T. So this T is the total time of operation. Like if it is one day then in the first case it is 12 seconds. So here I get. 12 second is half alpha as we had discussed at 40 degree if it is losing the time that means it would be something like this 40 minus the temperature at which it gives correct temperature and 86 400 that is the situation. Why 86 400 second because the time in one day in second would be 86 thousand 400 second. So this is the question say 40 degree is the temperature at which it is losing 12 second in one day and theta is the correct temperature or correct temperature by meaning it means the temperature at which it would give correct time. Now in the second case it gains 4 second so that would be equation number 1 4 second would be half alpha theta minus 20 because when the pendulum operates at 20 degree it is gaining 4 second. So it is gaining means the correct temperature operation would be higher than 20. 
the same discussion you can put it what we did for this into 86,400. This is equation number two. So here we have these two equations we can easily solve and the correct option would be option number four. So that was regarding question number 77. Let's move to question number 78.